The ocean, vast, mysterious, and full of secrets. Every wave carries a story, every ripple hides a mystery, and sometimes it spits out something unbelievable. This is not just any bottle. This little guy has been drifting through time for 132 years. That means it was floating around before planes, before Wi-Fi, and before people started arguing about pineapple on pizza. And inside, a message. A note written in 1886 when Queen Victoria was on the throne and the Eiffel Tower hadn't even been built yet. Was it a pirate's treasure map? A desperate cry for help? An old-timey grocery list? Nope. It was science. Our story begins in 2018 with a German fisherman named Tani Schottke. Now, Tani was just out doing regular fisherman things, casting nets, catching fish, contemplating the meaning of life, when suddenly his net pulled up something unexpected. A glass bottle, a really old one. At first he probably thought, great, more ocean garbage. But then he noticed a piece of paper inside. And that's when things got interesting. So what did this ancient message say? Was it a lost love letter? A warning about the future? Maybe instructions on how to find the lost city of Atlantis? Nope. It was actually a science experiment from 1886. The message was written by a German scientist named Georg Richter. Back in the late 19th century, Scientists had a problem. They wanted to understand how ocean currents worked, but they had no satellites, no GPS, and no waterproof GoPros. So they did the next best thing. They threw thousands of bottles into the ocean. Each one contained a note asking whoever found it to write down the location and return it so they could map ocean currents. Basically, they turned the ocean into the world's biggest science fair project. They figured, hey, if we drop enough bottles, eventually someone will find one, return it, and boom, scientific data. But here's the crazy part. These bottles were only supposed to be found a few years later. No one expected them to still be drifting more than a century later. Okay, let's break this down. This bottle survived 132 years in the ocean. That means it floated through some of history's most chaotic events. When it was thrown into the sea, the Titanic hadn't even been built yet. Phones were still brand new. No texting, no memes, just awkward telegrams. It floated through two world wars, the Cold War, the space race, and the rise of the internet. And somehow, it didn't get eaten by a whale. This thing drifted around the world completely unbothered by history, as if it was just out on a relaxing, century-long vacation. So what did Tawny the Fisherman do after finding this time capsule? Did he sell it to a museum? Hide it under his bed? Try to send a message back to 1886? Actually, he did exactly what Georg Richter wanted. He sent the message back. He turned it into the German Maritime Museum, where experts analyzed the handwriting, ink, and paper. And guess what? They confirmed it was 100% real. This was the oldest message in a bottle ever found, breaking the previous record of 108 years. Now here's where things get interesting. Scientists threw thousands of these bottles into the ocean. And this was just one of them. That means there could be more bottles still out there, waiting to be discovered maybe sitting at the bottom of the ocean, maybe wedged between rocks, maybe inside a very confused octopus's house. So if you're ever at the beach and spot an old bottle in the sand, don't ignore it. You might be holding a piece of history. So here's my question for you. If you could send a message in a bottle into the future, what would you write? A joke? A riddle? Maybe your Wi-Fi password, just in case someone in 2150 needs it? Drop your time-traveling messages in the comments like subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss more mind-blowing ocean mysteries.